Well, it is March 26th. Ross and I um, are back here in Iowa. We just got done uh, with trade show season here for the spring. Um, we've been on the road for pretty much the last month. Um, huge shout out to everybody that came out and showed support at all the trade shows. Phenomenal trade show season. Um, best year we've ever had. Um, started in Iowa, went to Minnesota, out to Ohio, and finished up in Wisconsin Dells, and it was just an incredible trade show season. Um, it's amazing the people that come out and support us, and we can't say thanks enough. But anyway, we're, we're in Iowa, and uh, we're trying to knock out a bunch of uh, tree stand work and a few other projects here. i uh, got a couple water holes that I want to get up. Um, we're going to try some rub posts this year, which is a new idea I've been wanting to try for a while now. And uh, we're going to get that going here on a couple different farms. We have had dry conditions for the last several months, and of course, the day before, we plan to do all this, we get moisture. It snowed and rained throughout the night and uh, made it a little greasy. So actually last night before the, the snow and rain moved in, we actually ran around these farms and dumped a bunch of tree stands and water holes and stuff in, in locations because we weren't sure if we can get to them with the truck today. We kind of pushed our luck and we got the truck back in here. Um, getting out might be a different story, but uh, we're gonna get going. We got probably the next two or three days. We're gonna be balls at the wall trying to get this stuff done um, before turkey season starts. So we're gonna get after it here and get a bunch of stuff done. Just putting a replacement strap on this Bigfoot here. Ross and I just got a lockdown ladder stand back here in this oak. And uh, had this Bigfoot down here in another set that we just pulled down. And uh, it's been out here for a few years. So those guys were kind enough to send some re replacement parts we're getting her set up well, it's time for a new seat got to take care of the cameraman tighten a few bolts get her strapped up should be good to go be like new fat guy in a little harness I got my harness, so I'm rocking what Chuck and Ricky wore. <laughs> How's she look? Like you got a diaper on. <laughs> I feel like I got a diaper on. I don't know if I can make it any bigger. Oh, well, we just got our first new set done here. Got a lockdown ladder here with a big foot hang on over the shoulder uh, pretty sweet spot i had a stand 15 yards from here but they came through and they cleared this fence line a couple years ago and when they did that this stand is kind of in the wide open um, no cover so what i'm going to do is we put this stand in place here and we're going to install a, a water hole about 20 yards away, uh, should be a pretty good spot. I really like this spot because you can see a lot, whether the bucks are cruising this fence or down off these hillsides, um, we're kind of at the highest point. And we're kind of gonna blow our wind back where we come in from, uh, pretty much a north, northwest. And uh, it's, it's just, it's been a really good spot over the years. I just haven't had it set up exactly how I wanted. I think this is, uh, this is gonna be good, especially when we put this water in here, because we are really close to a bunch of different bedding areas. I feel like these bucks are gonna be cruising through here, stop, get a drink, give us a good opportunity. So we're gonna keep rolling. We got a lot of work to do. It's kind of cold and miserable, and we did not dress for the weather. When we packed our bags for this trip, it was like 65, 70 degrees. We didn't really plan for 30s and snow. So keep moving, stay warm. Get some more work done. We're at a spot right now that I call the Cedar Corner. And we just threw a lockdown on there. And then we got a light foot hanging above it for the cameraman. It's a, it's a pretty good spot because I can hunt this. And I'm pretty much planning for the deer to come from west to east. And I kind of dump my wind off of this hill. Ideally a southwest. Pretty happy with it. Um, sticks out a little bit more than I'd like, 
But with it being in a cedar tree, I think that they're gonna get used to it pretty quick. So we, what we got going here, that lockdown ladder that we just hung in that cedar is right, I don't know if you can see the truck through the trees or not, but right at the end of that clearing there is where that lockdown's at. And I got another really good rut stand in here. I call it the best man stand. I've always wanted to put a water source in here. So that's what we're doing. We're gonna put a 60 gallon tank, bury it in the ground, and a landowner agreed to help me fill it. She's got a small uh, farm truck. So the plan is whenever the water's getting low, uh, we'll just fill up a drum of water. And we're just making this lane big enough to get that truck in here and top the water off. We're gonna call it the gauntlet. I think the deer are really gonna utilize it. We've kinda used the brush that we've cut and we're almost building a wall to prevent the deer from getting downwind of us at that ladder stand. But it's really gonna funnel them right past this one as well. So. I'm excited about it. Um, most of our cutting's done. We got a little bit of cleaning up to do, and then we'll uh, start working on the water hole. Well, we're in a spot here that I call the best man stand. And as you guys seen earlier, we kind of cleared out the what we're calling the gauntlet so we can get a truck in here and fill this water tank. We got the water tank buried. Something new that I'm trying this year is putting in posts, hoping that the deer start using them as rubbing posts. I plan on throwing a camera on a tree right behind Ross, shooting across the water hole and getting this rubbing post. It could very well tell me pretty much everything that's traveling through here. Stands right back here over my shoulder at about 20 yards. Um, really excited about this spot. We are not concrete workers, but we tried mixing up some quickcrete with water on this post. We're gonna kind of a trial run to see how it works. Just in the past, I've had issues with deer kind of pushing stuff around and then all of a sudden they're bent and leaning and hopefully this makes it solid enough so, so it can last for several years, but I think we're gonna go try to hang one more set here before it gets dark and then uh, we still got a couple more days of work for sure. But uh, definitely got a good jump on things today. I'm pretty happy with it. Rub post number two. Might make it into a scrape tree, not really sure. We just hung a new set up in this tree. I've always had a set back here further, but the problem is this little ridge kind of widens out and these deer seem to, once they get here, want to go up this high spot. A lot of times they'd be out of bow range from that other spot. So I think this is the answer. At least I hope so. I feel pretty good about it. Good cover up there. Again, we just got done mixing cement. We'll see what it does. Seems pretty solid. But we are running out of daylight here. We're gonna head back and eat some dinner, relax, drink some beer, and we will be back tomorrow. We got a full day ahead of us again, so catch you tomorrow.
I'm happy with them. Really excited to uh, put a wrap on a quick North Dakota season for myself. Holy smokes. That is a heck of a deer. Well, it's March 27th, back on the farm this morning. Ross and I were out here all day yesterday and conditions were not great. It was cold and windy and nasty, but we were out here all day. Uh, got quite a bit of stuff done. Uh, we got another full day ahead of us. Gonna throw some more stands up, install a couple more uh, rub posts, and we got one more pond we wanna bury. So another full day of work here but we are slowly chipping away at it. We're gonna throw this ladder stand up here in this cedar. Um, as you can see up in that cedar there, I've, I've got a spot cleared out. I've had some hang-ons in it in the past. Um, kinda always did hanging hunts, but this is a really good visual spot, um, potentially a spot that I, I would muzzleloader hunt just cause I can cover a lot of ground. Um, it's a good bow hunting spot too, really. So we're going with the ladder just because if we do gun hunt it, that way we got a shooting rail, so. It shouldn't be too bad. I think we can pretty much just stand it up kind of right in that opening that I already got cleared out. So I'm going to get to her. Another full day of work, but we're slowly chipping away. Well, that went pretty smooth. Got the ladder stand set. It was just a touch lower than what I had the tree stands when I did the hanging hunt. So I had to trim a little bit, but not much. That thing's tucked in there, ton of great cover. Uh, we're gonna throw a cameraman stand up there in a bit. Uh, one that I gotta grab back here, so. Other than that, that one's good to go. We are gonna head to the other side of the property and hang another one of these ladders and then start working on a, a fence post and a water hole, so. Let's go. or just back far north end of the property. We hung a lockdown ladder stand in here yesterday. We're just coming in now to dig in the water hole and uh, put the cameraman stand up. So then we'll be done on this end of the property. Got a couple more sets to go check out on the south side, but uh, we're making good progress today. It makes a world of a difference when the weather's nice and it's not miserable, so. Well, we just finished with this water hole. Ross and I both broke a sweat. Ross dug the majority of this thing in while I was messing around with the tree stand. But we, we got her in place. I think she's pretty level. And we got it kind of an open lane here so we can back a truck in here and fill it up. But we're looking at about a 20 yard shot from the ladder stand. Uh, there's a big uh, blow down here, which works out good because we're trying to get deer to come at it from this way and from this way and we're going to blow our wind back here so we're hoping this downfall kind of keeps deer from coming back there there is a chance that they'd wrap and come to this side which would be a, a tough angle to shoot them at so we kind of threw some brush up here i don't know if it's going to work or not but that's the the reasoning there we're hoping the deer come at it right here or from right here either give me a broadside or a quartering away shot but i'm excited about these watering holes we uh Messed around with this a little bit last year on the lease in Illinois and just phenomenal inventory. The deer just hammered these things. So I'm hoping for the same results here in Iowa. But uh, we're going to head to the other end of the farm. We got a couple more stands to mess with and uh, we'll be about done on this farm. Another double ready to rock. I've had a stand in this particular tree for a long time. I kind of jumped around. I bet within 100 yards of us, I've had eight to 10 different tree stand locations and I just kind of keep moving them just a little bit until I am happy with it. And this is the tree. I've been in this one now for, oh, probably six years. Um, first year with the water hole, I'm excited about that. What we did was actually bumped 
the stands up about two feet each. Um, I don't think we needed to, but I think it's gonna help us. So got that ready to rock, threw a new lifeline on it. Water hole's good to go, and it's only fitting we're about done with whitetail work. And we got a couple birds just hammering in the timber here, probably three, 400 yards from us. We got a few more stands to do, but definitely getting fired up to shoot some turkeys now. We just slipped into a, a different farm. Uh, call this the gateway property. Cage blind over my shoulder. Pond right here. We just put in a new rub post. This is the fourth rub post we've put out. We got one more that we're gonna do yet tomorrow. Um, I'm gonna take a look down here too. I got a, a scrape I run down on this edge and I had a good buck in here I call Verizon. And uh, he hit that three nights in a row in October, daylight last year. And I never got him coming up here. So I'm gonna go take a look at a couple trees maybe to hang one down here. But other than that, this place should be set. I've got a stand in the spot I call the gate, the gateway. I got the cage blind and then potentially put one more stand in here and be covered. It's not a very big piece but I have had um, a few really nice bucks in here the last couple of years. So this is actually where I wounded that one last fall, November 11th or 12th. He come right down along this pond through this fence gap and came out and he spooked at the decoy. I misjudged the distance when he stopped out here and shot him low, never did find him. Haven't seen anything of him since other than I got pictures of him two weeks after I shot him like two miles that way. <laughs> so I have no idea if he's alive, dead, or what, but I've scoured this area looking for him. No sheds, no sign of him dead, so we'll see, maybe he'll show back up. But either way, there's gonna be a couple good bucks in here. Uh, we're gonna go dump some mineral down here, look at a tree, and get out of here. New set alert. Just hung a new stand right over this scrape. <clears throat> We're only 75 yards from the cage blind. Like I said, Verizon hit this scrape right here three nights in a row in October last year in daylight. And he never did make it up there, at least not in front of my cameras. So we wanted to get something in place if he does that again. I figure he's gonna be six years old this year and he should be a giant if he's alive. So if he does that again, we're ready. It looks like they got two main trails. One comes up out of this ditch, the other one comes right down the edge of this alfalfa field. It's gonna be tight quarters, inside 15, and we're only eight or nine feet off the ground. But I think if you're expecting them, I think you can pull it off. See what happens here. Trying to make quick uh, work on a set here this morning. Had to drive across to cow pasture and there's one spot that's pretty muddy. Luckily the ground's frozen enough. We were able to get in here, but it's supposed to warm up. Sun's already out. So we're gonna try to hang this set and get out of here before it gets soft. Got a tree right here. Um, this is a, there's three forties of pasture right here with a couple thick patches. There's a creek that runs down through it and then a bunch of CRP to the east of it on the neighbors. Uh, I uh, ran a few cameras in here this last fall and I was just blown away by the activity on this fence line. So I got a tree picked out right here and uh, it's really my only option. It's not a great tree, but I think it'll work. And uh, it's just gonna be another east wind option to have in my back pocket. So we're gonna grab the set, jump across the creek, get it up in the tree and get out of here. Oh, well, we just got to uh, 
our last farm here that we want to get a few things done. Landowner was nice enough to let us use the John Deere to get back here because uh, we drove in here the other day to drop these ladder stands off and it was just dry enough to, to get in here. But today I don't think we would have got in here with a truck. So she let us use this, which is huge save. Like we would have had to carry a bunch of stuff quite a ways in here. But anyway, I've got uh, a set over my shoulder here. Um, we're gonna keep this tree. It's an awesome spot. I can kind of blow a southwest back here and play deer cross in this river. But we're gonna swap the hang-ons out and, and put a ladder stand up just because uh, it's a big field here and this is one spot that I could potentially muzzleloader hunt. Uh, so I just kinda want that shooting rail. I'm gonna still bow hunt the stand, no doubt but it'd be nice to have that shooting rail if we do use the gun on this field. So we're gonna get this ladder hung, and then on the other side of the field, we're gonna hang one more and we'll pretty much be done in here. We got the ladder up. It was a little more work than we bargained for. There was one limb that was right where we uh, wanted the ladder to be, but we got it to work out. Ended up leaving the cameraman stand in the same spot. We'll probably bring in a couple screw-in steps and then just step up into that, so. Good to go on this one. Like I said, we got one more ladder over here. We're gonna go put up, this is gonna be a new stand over here. So we still gotta pick out a tree and probably do some trimming and stuff. So let's get going. Got the final stand hung, lockdown ladder, Bigfoot hang out above it. Ross just named it the penthouse. I'm pumped on this one. I've had another stand, I don't know, probably 80 to 100 yards down this edge, but I just wanted to get closer to this corner. I was actually hoping we were a little closer, but I think this is money. There's a nice branch here we'll run a vine off of. Down in the corner, we're gonna put a rubbing post. Uh, we're gonna head and do that right now. But I think this is gonna be awesome. We could see a ton of ground here, and just from years of hunting this spot, these deer naturally like to come out on the, this end of the field. And especially in a decoy scenario, I think we're gonna be just close enough. If they come out, the does aren't gonna be bothered by it and the bucks are gonna to have to come check it out. So I'm pumped on this penthouse. Oh, well, we just got our final rub post set, cemented in. We got a lockdown ladder about 80 yards this way that we can hunt on a north-northeast. And then about 200 yards this way, we've got another uh, retreat ladder stand. And that one I kind of hunt with an east or a southeast. And both of them, we can see the rubbing post. This is more or less an inventory tool for us. Um, after running cameras on this farm for several years, this end of the field here seems to be the hot spot. So I think deer are gonna find this and use this and uh, give us some good intel. And uh, really this farm, I, I don't hunt it a whole lot without a decoy. So the point is, is to get deer on this field, know what's coming to this field. If a good one's coming here, hunt them with a decoy. We can hunt north, we can hunt south. Um, should be good to go. That's gonna pretty much be a wrap on the last few days. Me and Ross have been getting a lot of work done and uh, pretty much the table set other than coming and camming spots, which I probably won't do till July or maybe even August. So whitetail work's done. Turkey season starts on April 8th for us. Appreciate you guys watching the semi-live and we'll catch you on the next video.